So this first video is going to talk about polynomials and what they are and how we can classify them. And a polynomial, you know, function slash expression slash equation um, can be uh, represented in the following type of way. So here's an example. 2x to the 6th plus 7x to the 5th plus 7x to the 4th minus 3x to the 3rd plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. This is a very long polynomial, but this is a very good example of one. Now, a few things about this polynomial. You'll see that it, invo it involves these pieces, what we call terms. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. It involves these terms separated by pluses and minuses that contain either um, numbers multiplied by variables or, you know, just numbers. Exponents on the variables are only whole numbers. So you're not going to see any negatives. You're not going to see any, you know, fractions, anything like that as the exponents in a polynomial type of function. So you won't see absolute values. You won't see square roots. You won't see negative exponents. Things like that do not involve or not with polynomial expressions. So this is a polynomial expression. If I represent it this way, it's a polynomial function. You know, if I set it equal to zero, it's a polynomial equation. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terms. So you have seven total terms in this particular example. So the terms are separated by pluses and minuses. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six of those terms contain variables. So we have six variable terms, that's what they're called. And only one of them does not contain a variable, so one constant term. So a term that can, does not contain a variable is called a constant term. Now this is a polynomial in standard form. Why? Because it starts with the highest exponent and descends from there. Goes down all the way until I get a constant term. Um, you don't always have to have a constant term, but as long as you start with the highest exponent here in, in the first term and then descend, the exponents go down, um, then you have a standard form of a polynomial uh, expression or function or whatever. Now the highest exponent is called the degree. And in this case, the degree, which is the highest exponent, is 6. So we call this a 6 degree polynomial function. The first term that contains the highest exponent or contains the degree is called the leading term. It leads when we're in standard form. And the number in front of it is called the leading coefficient. Okay, so we have a few things that, you know, just to talk about the different parts of polynomials. The terms, which could be separated into variable terms or constant terms. The number of terms, the leading term, which is the one in front when we're in standard form. The degree of the polynomial and the leading coefficient. So I'm just going to start um, with that. Um, let me actually continue to classify polynomials um, based on the number of terms, classifying based on number of terms. And this is limited, based on number of terms. Technically, we only go to three terms. So we'll start with uh, the name and then the number of terms and then an example. Okay, so the first type of polynomial I want to talk about is called a monomial, monomial, and a monomial has one term. For example, 2x is a monomial. It's a term by itself, right? The exponent on x is a whole number. Um, another monomial is 3x squared. This is a monomial. There's no plus or minus in the middle, so it's not two terms. This is just a single term monomial. This is a single term monomial. Um, a by, by, binomial contains two terms. So 3x to the third plus 5x is a binomial, has two terms, um, doesn't need to have a constant term to be a binomial, or 2x plus 3 is a binomial. You would imagine that a trinomial, tri contains three terms, so 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 
is a trinomial. It has one, two, three terms. This is in standard form. And then if I go beyond three terms, let's say beyond, we don't really have special names for it. We basically classify it by the degree. So my example here, I had seven terms in this polynomial. So I don't have a special name like monomial, binomial, or trinomial. It has more than three terms. So I would say that it's a sixth degree polynomial function. I would classify it based on the degree. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick examples, random examples, just talking about the terminology, you know, of polynomials. So the first one, 2x minus 3. First thing is that, ah, too easy, right? I kind of already did that, didn't I? 5x to the 7th minus 4x to the 8th plus 8x plus 1. First thing I want to know is, is this a polynomial function? And the answer is yes because of the fact that none of the exponents are, you know, negatives, fractions, anything crazy like that, no absolute values, just straight up whole numbers. Um, is it in standard form? No, this is not in standard form because I'm not leading with the highest exponent. So if I put it in standard form, then I want to lead with the highest exponent, which would be the term including the x to the eighth, negative 4x to the eighth. Then I would descend from there, plus 5x to the 7th, and then plus 8x, and then plus 1. So now I'm in standard form. No, I do not need, um, I do not need, you know, a 6th, a 5th, a 4th degree. You know, I'm missing terms here, but that's okay. I, I don't need to represent them when I'm just showing the polynomial in standard form. I have three variable terms and one constant term. These are my variable terms because they can, you know, they include the variables. And this is my constant terms. Constant term, variable terms. What's the degree of this polynomial? Well, the highest exponent is an 8, so it's an 8th degree polynomial. It has four total terms, so it doesn't follow any of these particular type of polynomials. It has more than three terms, so I wouldn't label it based on the number of terms. I would label it based on the degree, so I would call it an 8th degree polynomial expression, because this is in the form of an expression. Um, eighth degree polynomial expression. What else? Um, let's talk about the leading term. What is the term that leads? Well, when I'm in standard form, it has to be in standard form. The leading term is this negative 4x to the eighth. And then the leading coefficient, which would be the number attached to that, which in this case is negative 4. So it's not hard classifying, talking about the type of polynomials that we have and then the different parts of it. But then what do we do with these? So you guys are going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and then maybe taking it further. Um, but for now, we'll just do operations. So this is just information about what a polynomial is, what they look like, how we label them, what are different classifications, you know, different terminology involved, and then we'll take it from there.